Hi everybody, let's take a look at the back nine now for Rookie. Again, this is the uh, the lower of the two Rookie accounts, but still uh, Rookie level clubs, and I'll suggest some alternatives as well. So it's the Extra Mile 5, and again I'm going with the Berserker. We do have Cross Tailwind, but once again, Extra Mile 6, you can go with the Titan here very, very easily indeed. Three bars of top spin, two bars of side spin to the right. Um, pushing up to max after we've done max plus 10, going with half a ball of curl to the right, which is full curl, with extra mile level 5. Uh, don't really want to push this any further, and you'll see why in a minute, but that is fine. Three bars atop with the Zerk. No problem at all there, a little bit of OP as well. So here, finding the minimum distance with the Thorn. And once again, playing with just over two bars of backspin here. I would always play min a line of your thorn. If you're further back on the drive, as long as you're bouncing on the green, you'll be okay. So we're adjusting here minimum distance numbers plus 10% elevation. Once again, leave the ball guide slightly short of the pin. Just rewind, pause the video if you want a reference point. But as long as you hit perfect, this one should be in all day and every day for a lovely eagle to start the back nine. Hole number two, again going with the backbone and the navigator ball here. We do have uh, some headwind, so we do need the navigator. Blue ring touching the fringe and the bunker on the left at the same time. The adjustment here is max plus 20. And let's see how this comes in. Might need a tweak here, we'll find out. I do believe we hit this ball great, sadly. Yeah, mine a great right there. But I do like the way this comes in. I do believe a perfect would have been very close, maybe just missing to the left. So small tweak there, but something definitely to work with. Uh, OK, hole 12, I'm going to show you the extra mile option. You can, of course, do the big topper double bounce as before. Uh, but if you have big topper level 1, as I do on this account, I go with extra mile instead. Stretch out, see the second bounce landing on the second piece of fairway. Look at how many rings of overpower is needed. Adjust max plus 10, push up to max, and then we pushed up a ring, so I'm taking one ring away from the overpower. Leaves me about two and a half rings. Could have gone with a third ring of overpower, to be honest. Three hole rings would have been better. But we still, with four and a half top spin, one bar of right spin, clear it on the second bounce. And have a very, very nice clear shot for an albatross. Okay, as before, Tricky albatross to get here, but it is a chance. I adjust this one medium distance plus 10% elevation. Just needed a little bit less of uh, the backspin. We did run out of pace again on the hill here. So you don't want to be short. I go mid plus 10. But as I said, the albatross here is a real bonus, so just take a very safe eagle if not. Maybe just missing to the right there as well. But anyway, there's an approach for an easy eagle. We have a hole in one here on hole number 13. And I'm going with no spin whatsoever. Marlin ball, red ring touching the rough. And look at the second bounce there where it is on that light row of green squares. Just there, look, aiming right side of the cup with the ball guide. Adjustment here is max plus 10. And then we're just going to hit this perfect with the marlin. And off we go. So red ring touching the rough. Aim at slightly right edge of the cup. No spin. Hit perfect and look at that, just trickles in for a lovely hole in one. Good chance on this hole. Uh, now, hole number uh, 14. I thought this was actually the par 5, so second shot you're going to see here played with a Viper by mistake, because I'm only in a beginner clan. 
the BK Golf Clash Channel Clan. So I can't switch bags. I thought I was playing the par 5 and I'm not. But we're going the same drive as we were on the front line. Three and a half top spin, one right. And we're adjusting it max plus 10. There we go, perfect away. We're just laying up here. The second shot, we are going to look at the rough bump, but like I said, it's the Viper. Uh, obviously, if you don't have Sniper, you're going to have to go with that. Um, but obviously, the preference is the Sniper for the ball guide. So we just have to improvise here. Playing it true club distance with minus 30% elevation. So we're under adjusting it because it is uphill. I judge this to be about 60 or 70% slider. I don't have two bars of top spin, so I'm just aiming a little bit higher. But like I said, just reference the front nine with the sniper. We want a similar sort of thing here. But the idea of the shot is still the same. But considering we didn't have the sniper in, I actually thought this wasn't a bad effort with the poor ball guide of the Viper just missing to the left-hand side. Good speed, though. And now in roll reversal, this is where I packed the Viper thinking I'd be short and actually could have packed the Sniper. But once again, the idea is the same. Four and a half top, one right spin. Just pushing this drive a little bit further with the extra mile level five. Adjust max plus 10. Not going to push up to max, just going to take our shot. Yep, perfect. And we bounce over and look, we roll comfortably out of the shadow there, quite a long way actually. And I was short on the front line, so I thought I'd put the Viper in and bounce over. But no, we could have actually made this with the Sniper in max distance. Um, but I'm going to show you what to do. Obviously you're going to have the Sniper with a better ball guide, but the spins and the adjustments say the same. Um, so we're going with about th just under three bars of backspin, and again we've just got to... Uh, judge the ball guide as best we can with the Viper. I play this mid distance plus 10. With Sniper we're going to be max numbers because it's a shorter club at level 4, which would have been for me. Obviously you judge your club distance as well according to what club level you've got. But we do, again, uh, have a pretty decent effort with the Viper. Just unfortunate to have the wrong club in the bag there. You see, look at this speed, we're just off there, but like I said, better ball guide, very, very good chance for Albatross. Okay, time to bite the bullet now on hole 16 and go for the rough bump, even though we have no ball guide on the Goliath level 4. I go with three bars of top spin, and we need to reduce. Go with two bars of top spin. Get that yellow ring centred in the rough, the inner yellow ring, touching the top and the sand, just overlapping ever such... Uh, small amount. Aim as best as you can with your ball guide. I adjust this one mid plus 10, which is 0 0.8 rings. Crosswind, rough bump is much easier on this hole. Uh, when you've got headwind or tailwind, you're adjusting down in elevation. It is very, very difficult. But this one is a little bit easier. Like I said, we just need to reduce the top spin. Look at this for line. Sit, sit. Uh. Hit the pin, sometimes they drop, but this time it didn't. So a little bit less top spin, you know, half a bar, maybe a whole bar less of top spin for the in. Once again, quarterback for hole 17. Three top, three right. And we're going to go with a little bit of curl. Adjustment here, max plus 10. Even though we're just into overpower, I'm not going to play with any OP. Ball half into the wall on the right of curl. And then off we go. And that's safely down the fairway there for a second shot. And again, I'm just going the conservative route here. There is an interesting rough bump if you fancy it there, just beneath where the white ring is with a little bit of top spin. But be careful because you are going to have to adjust down into the bunker there. So I'm going to show you with the backspin I do have on this low level thorn how to play safely on the green. Max plus zero is the adjustment I do believe. Full backspin and then we just get on safely and take our birdie.
And now finally on to hole 18. We have a generous uh, tailwind here for rookies, hole 18. So I'm still going with the Berserker, extra mile level 5. Four and a half top spin, one bar side spin to the right. Stretch out, aim right down the middle, adjust max plus 10. Once we have adjusted the shot, we are pushing back up to max. I don't go with full overpower here, however, I really should have done. Go about 80%. And you'll see why I will recommend going with full OP um, in the second shot. So, great right, but we're still okay with the uh, wide fairway that we do have. We're not threatening the rough there. Uh, 389, but that's fine. Second shot. Unlucky for me, I catch a fringe glitch here. I didn't realise, or if I did realise, then I'd forgotten that there is a fringe glitch. So be careful. If you have a longer drive, we don't need to push up. And then we can reduce the top spin, probably play with zero spin or even a bit of back spin if you get a long drive. I just max plus five. I push up to max and I go with a little bit of curl again. However, you are going to see here we do catch uh, a really bad bounce on the fringe and we get a speed roll. And it does happen on some of the old courses in the game. And it happens here. Look at this. Third bounce right on the join of the fringe. But there we go. That's the end of the playthrough. Good luck, guys. See you soon. Bye for now.